So I kind of alluded to it in the previous video when we were looking at base vectors, but to look at it more generally, what we can say is that if we look at A cross B, where A is A1, A2, A3, B is B1, B2, B3, then we've got I, J, K, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. And we've then got I times A2, B3, take away A3, B2, take away J times A1, B3, B3, take away A3, B1, plus K times A1, B2, take away A2, B1. Okay, so if we look at that, and then we look at B cross A, so we do it the other way around. Let's see what we get and compare. So B1, B2, B3, A1, A2, A3. So we get I times uh, B2, A3. So A3, B2, take away A2, B3. Take away J times... Uh, B1 times A3, so A3, B1, I'll write them that way around. Take away uh, A1, B3, plus K times uh, A2, B1, take away A1, B2. So if we compare these two, what you can see is that we've got the negative of that one, We've got the negative of that one, and we've got the negative of that one. So it's just around the other way. So the consequence is that we can see that A cross B is equal to minus B cross A. So if you reverse um, uh, the direction of your vector product, so if you do um, B cross A, instead of A cross B, it's the negative of the other one, okay? So this is a useful fact to remember.